so decisions when you are taking decisions strategic decisions are long term directions of organization so you have to think about long term because business are long term not a short term and also the scope of organization's activity once you have taken strategic decisions these decision will become the actions strategic actions these are activities now okay and also gaining advantage over the competitions you have to bring these activities to win the competition i told you strategic always winning the competition strategic term is coming from the terminologies of war like you have to win the competition that that way you have to think that is strategic thinking strategic thinking so uh, you know in the world cup right the teams are teams were there right they have their own strategy to win the game okay so how how to play safeguarding yeah and uh, it will be boring these people yeah they are not moving take the ball back always not going forward defending strategy yeah then attacking strategy infiltrating act strategy you know you have some kind of strategy to get them right what happened the last final match they have put two but they didn't defend still they have won the world cup but anyway if they have lost it it was a critical situation no? at least they have defended so with two they, they might have defended if they have defended for 10 minutes and 15 minutes fast finished they you know they didn't do that they were trying to go some you know, who who lost uh, one level cup coming to semi final they failed to defend it they tried to put another goal croatia uh, with croatia but another croatia body who played france brazil i think brazil yeah yeah no quarter final the quarter final they they failed to select the semi final they 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 put the goal they didn't uh, go for defending so do you understand you should have some kind of strategy with search and based on the strategy you do some action activities will be there okay addressing the changes in the business environment so that is also important you have to address the environment look at the environment in the cricket you can see the envar suddenly it is raining yeah so what is the strategy which one you are going to use batting strategy or bowling strategy <laughs> yeah to win the match yeah you have to think about the bowling bowling attack for example so you should maximize your bowling and you know within the short time you manage the ball ball bowling should be good the team will take some strategy realign their people and take some action same yes sir they will be working yeah okay so that is what uh, addressing the changes the business environment in the business you have some environment like corona environment war environment you have lots of environment yeah corona environment. so you have to understand the demographic environment okay technological changes in bar now you have a restaurant you also having a restaurant you are having a restaurant you want to open a restaurant uh, using the come what you call technological advanced things these two are not having like go to mcdonalds you don't need to order in the counter you have the touch screen you put put your card you have the top and take and sit down you speak with your people the food will come to you no need to talk to anybody and you can select them to yeah everything everything into it you know this technological things why i have to be behind him waiting in the queue and waste my time i'm here to have my fun 
I have a limited time. So you have to understand the customer's, you know, customer's emotions, customer's thinking, and bring some solutions. Reduce line of time, zero line of time. Business. Use some artificial intelligence to solve the problem. Artificial intelligence. intelligence. Right. Technology, like one robotic system. Okay, that's a solution. Outside is you drive the car. In America, we have in McDonald's. Uh, your car drive through, the car is driving outside is well, there is changing. It becomes rainy. Automatically, the menu is changing. When the car enters, car gives the signal to the, it will come according to the taste of the customer. See how the business is now set up. Traditionally, you have the uh, you have things. How they are moving fast. If you want to learn things, business, go and see McDonald's. See how they are set up. Outside weather is changing, so the screen is also changing. The product line is also changing. Okay, so these are strategies, values and expectations of stakeholders. The expectations, you have to think about, you have to take some decision, the values, customers expecting, your employees are expecting, owners are expecting, investors are expecting, government is expecting, public is expecting, what is the values? You have to create value accordingly. You plan how can I create values? That strategy is coming. Okay. Strategic thinking. So therefore, they are likely to be complex in nature. So it's not easy because for you is different, for me different. So it's complex. Cannot be imitated. Right, the way you are thinking and my thinking and your thinking is different. We can't say it will be the same. Strategies will be different. It's complex and also made the situation uncertainty. So according to the uncertainty, you are going to deal and affect operational decisions. Based on the strategy, you do all the active actions. This is your strategy. Your business is going to focus cost leadership. Mean you go for low cost of this. So low cost strategy is your business. So you focus your operations in a low cost manner. You produce things in a low cost manner. So in order to get the lower cost, your supply chain should be handled. In one of the way, you go for procurement. In your procurement, you deal low cost. So you have to have an agreement with your supplier, have some low cost. Things. Right? You go for bulk purchasing. Discount. Discounts. You have to get some discounts and also bulk purchasing. Right? Or you make your own resources. You don't depend on any supply. You have your own supply. I already discussed about this backward and forward integration. You take your own supply. You may you own your own supply. You own own your distribution. IKEA has its own supply on distribution. They, McDonald's is not. No, they are not owning. This, not the tires, they are the, the, in the tires, they are not producing. They are they have product production, but they are still dependent. For the whole world, they cannot produce. IKEA they have, they buy forest. They set up the plant, buy the forest, invest on forest. 
buy for us and cut their wood and making their things. They have, but not all. They have their factory, uh, but the tires in the tire, the raw materials are coming from outside, farm outside. Uh, lettuce coming from farm. Right. The production is there, but the production is a it's, it's, it's a manufacturing happening at the time of the uh, sandwich making, right? Beef is coming, but they make into patty. They make into patties, cooked patties. They have their own suppliers. But for them, they have their own. No, they make their patties in their business place. You know, the factory, they make their patties. But the cow is coming. The beef is coming from different countries. It's coming from Australia, it's coming from New Zealand, it's coming from different places. And what is different from their taste you think? That's they're making their this one. Yeah, on the factory they are making their beef patties. The beef is coming. South African be uh, African countries, they go and take uh, beef, collect their beef. Okay, these beefs are coming to factories. They make their patties in the same standard. Standardizations are there. The beefs standardizations are there. It will be cooked, boiled the same way, cooked the same way, cut the same way. You know, it will be the same, and the frozen the same way. And coming to restaurant. They are cooking in a certain condition, they take the same quality. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. uh, yeah. uh, a you can really prepare their rice. You see, it's totally different from the way other people Yeah. So it is very different. Yeah, it's right there. It's, it's, it's everywhere on the other side. There is a unique, unique system. Yeah. The way they handle it. It's already uh, the production system. The same, maybe if you go to Burger King also, is there. But these people are a little different in some other actions. Like you have your own thing. How is giving beef? Yeah, water is coming everywhere. The same water. Yeah. But there are little things, you know, something different in the taste, some mixtures, some formula. Right? KFC chicken is there. You can also make your grocery chicken. But their chicken is little different. The source mixing formula is little different. Mm -hmm. There are certain uniqueness. That is uniqueness. Okay. So in the business, you should be unique. You should be different. Okay. How can I be unique? How can I be different? That is your strategy. Too much strategy. Huh? Too much strategy. Yeah. You learn now today. Require integrated approach. That is also important. Your approaches are connected. Inside and outside should be connected. According to customer requirements, you have to set up your internal, uh, internal setup. Outside should be connected with inside. Okay. There should be integrations. And also involve considerable changes. There should be lots of changes. It's going to happen. So, that's why you have to think uh, strategic decisions are important, right? In order to satisfy your customers, bring values to customers, right? To take your business next level forward. So strategy provides a prescription of doing a business. You understand now? Prescription. Uh, if you go to hospital, uh, if you go to doctor, he will give you a prescription to buy, to buy the medicine, to get the medicine, to cure from disease. Same, to do a business, you have a prescription. That prescription is the business strategy. 
Okay, okay. it's a road map. Another term is a road map. The map to win the competition, to become competitive advantage. Okay, it's a game. It's a game plan. How can how can you win the game for pleasing the customers? Satisfaction, customer satisfaction. A formula. See the terminologies for strategy. The formula for attaining long-term standout marketplace performance. How can you stand in the market for long term? Be number one continuously forever for a long time. How can I be? Become number one is not easy. Is easy, 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 actually. You can become number one easy. Like who won the World Cup last last time? Where are they? We understand. So you have to be sustainably, continuously win, win, win. We are the winner. Continuously, if the France is winning and winning and winning, then people are not going to come nearer. Do you understand? Psychologically, they will be this team. We cannot win. Yeah. What happened? The winner of this World Cup beaten by Saudi Arabia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they celebrated. The country celebrated. You know, they gave a Rolls Royce car for a. Players, no, no. it's not no. fake news. Okay, for example, some kind of information coming like that. No, so anyway, it's a kind of celebration. They celebrated actually. It's a big celebration. They they felt that they have won the World Cup yeah. because they are heroes. No, they won. Yeah, and they holiday. They declared it's a celebration, but sus not sustainable. Sustainable, do you understand? Sustainable. You have to continuously win. How can you continuously win? How can you continuously be in the market? Take the leadership. Formula for attaining a long-term standard in the marketplace. So you should have a formula, you should have a game plan, you should have a roadmap, you should have a prescription. This prescription, roadmap, game plan, and formula are strategies. So it's very clear now. Strategy means what? So good strategy, good strategic execution. That is also important. You have only plan, but you don't have execution. It's problem. It's management, good management. So you business plan already. Your managements are not executing. It's a big problem. The management should plan according to the plan. This one. Okay, the top level management thinks about, okay, look at the business. Right now, the business, they decide to win the competition. So business A, business B, business C. So you have to win the competitions. The B and C are the competitors. To win the competition, what can I, how can I take my business? You have, you have choices, you have solutions. A, one, go for post leadership. Or go for differentiation. Go for focus strategy. So these are the three business strategies. So top level management takes this as a way of doing. We hope of course leadership. So if they have taken this course leadership as a business strategy, the management should take this course leadership as a focus. Do you understand? They have to work towards it. They have to always focus on how to reduce the cost. They have to always support. In their purchasing, 
Pokemon, go for principal leadership. Okay. In their human resource management, go for post leadership. In the operation, go for post leadership. Right? In the marketing, go for go for post leadership. You always think about the cost. How can you reduce the cost? At the same time, create more values. Think about it. If you can reduce the cost and also bring more values, yes, as planned by the top level management, the strategies are formulated by the top level management. Who is going to implement? Who is going to implement? Bottom line managers. Yeah, bottom line managers, the frontliners. These yeah. people are the one going to implement the strategy. So strategic implementations are very important. Strategic formulations are also important. Formulation and implementation. You formulate but not implement it. Problem. Formulation and implementations are both are important. That is what good management. Okay, you understand. So the firms, that strategy. Why we have to do all these strategies to improve financial performance? Okay, strengthen its competitive position. We already discussed about it. to gain sustainable competitive advantage or the market values. I discussed already. Create distinctive strategy. If you want to create a distinctive strategy, can yield above and average profits. You can increase the profit. Make competition difficult for buying. So competitors cannot compete with you. Yeah. So when you are looking uh, the strategy, you have to think about these areas all together. Identify company strategy. So first one, action to gain sales and market share, more performance features, more appealing design, better quality, customer service, wider product selection or other kind of things. So you have to think about that way. A action to gain, yeah, you have to gain sales and market shares with lower prices based on the lower cost. Okay, low cost strategy. Okay, action to enter new product or uh, geographic markets. So how can you enter into the new market? Penetration strategy. Do you know the penetration strategy? You have the product, take the product and services everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere means uh, you, are, you have the capacity to uh, expand, take, your expand your business, right? Uh, within the market, you have the existing market, you have the existing product, but your, your product is not everywhere available. Okay, for example, you produce, yeah, yeah, Doha, last time I told you, you know, yeah, Doha to Al Khur. So there is a market. No, you didn't tap the market of Al Khur. People are not aware about your product. Okay, it's already the service done in only. So you have the restaurant, you open only in Doha. You didn't expand uh, your restaurant to Al Khur. It means people are there also to buy your food and get ready to serve. But why don't you expand your business there also? Your business is very famous in Qatar, fine. Why don't you think about expansions of Gulf? It's very famous in Gulf. Why don't you think about moving to Asia, Southeast Asia, uh, Europe, Africa? Based on the market situation, you have to think about it. it's penetration, market development. So you know already, right? And also, product bringing more product like product differentiation uh, thinking that way action to capture emerging market opportunities so you have to think about how can i capture this market this is these are the emerging market these are the new markets so if we have the market opportunities you have to capture it so the, that way of thinking and defend uh, against the extreme threats you have to identify. The actions to strengthen market standing and competitive 
competitiveness by acquiring, managing with other companies, right? Action to strengthen uh, competitiveness where strategic alliances, collaborative partnership. You know, sometimes you can't do alone. You can't do alone. You need partnership, collaborative partnership. What do you mean collaborative partnership? The partnership win-win situation, deal with win-win. That's collaboration. What is win win collaborative partnership here here no? down, down. Down. Yeah. here here yeah. 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 the direction okay. yeah collaborative partnership means you have the partner in the win win situation okay the actions to upgrade the actions and approaches used in managing r and d research and development okay in productions and sales and marketing finance and other key activities also based on your strategy your actions are there in your business functions okay actions to upgrade really or acquire competitively important resources and resource capabilities so you have to take your resources accordingly once you have taken a decision then you are going to deal this way. Okay. These are strategic action. And no actions, all are, do you understand all are, what are the strategic actions? So you have to deal that way. Actions to strengthen the firm's bargaining position with the supplier and distributor. Also important. Bargaining position, right? 